Hey everyone, so here's a quick Sunday update of where I'm at with everything as far as the shop build and the CNC plasma table. You can see that the concrete that was here has been removed. Unfortunately on Friday there was some, some issues, technically the issue started on Thursday. The contractor that was supposed to do the concrete was supposed to be here on Thursday according to his own words earlier in the week and didn't show up Thursday, didn't say nothing Thursday. Showed up Friday around 9.15 in the morning um, and immediately started having conversations with me about how much more this is going to cost me. Now, keep in mind that the contractor had already been to the job site and could have informed me a month and a half ago about all these different variables and things like that instead of backing me into a corner on Friday of last week. A uh, month and a half later. So, um, here's what ended up happening. I'm not going to drag the company or the guy through the mud. You know, the price may have been fair given inflation. I just didn't like, um, I didn't like how business was conducted. And to me, that's an extremely important thing. So, I had him tear out the concrete. And I told him I was going to go get some quotes from some other companies. And that's where I'm at with that. And... We'll go from there as soon as I get some quotes back this week. Um, hopefully we can start getting this done within the next week or two. Um, we'll see. So on to the plasma table in the shop. So as most of you guys have seen that follow my social media, I got my CNC plasma table in from Spark Robotics. Um, they are an amazing company to work with. Nothing like the contractor with the concrete very you know communicate very well very happy with the product and all of that stuff so we got a lot of cleaning up still happening here in the shop you know working through this mess here to clean this area out um, but I got the CNC plasma table in I moved my compressor over here to this wall um, I still got to shift it over towards the wall some, but I'm actually going to be painting in here. So right now where I'm at is I got, where to go? <laughs> the pallet that had my face converter on there. Um, I chopped up the pallet to make it a smaller footprint and took the, the idler motor out. I've got the control box over here. I'm shooting video. That's why the tripod's there. On the install of that so that video will be out in the future um, look you know subscribe on YouTube if you want to see that I'm also on rumble so you can subscribe there as well um, but yeah right now what I'm, I'm focusing on is just cleaning up this mess what I would like to do is get this table totally cleaned off if you look here I've got three sheets of 316 steel um, that is probably you know worth a significant amount of money right now <laughs> um, I'm gonna toss it underneath the, the table here and get this cleared off so I can use it as a workbench and you see I got my two boy fours out here which are also gold apparently and I'm gonna get the insulation up and start working my way down and then start preparing to paint now I don't know how much of this I'll get painted and how much of this I'll get done but I know for sure my goal today is to get this lower section here on this wall paneled in. Get this wall, this section fully insulated with the 2x4s. Um, this wall's in, in question. If I can't, if I got time, I'll pull this all out of here. There's some metal behind it. Um, some sheet metal, 18 gauge that I need to get out of the way because I have to basically put some paneling up here. And then there's a small section on that end that I got to put paneling on. All the insulation's done there. So if I can, I'd like to get to that point today and have everything pulled away, tape off, and start spraying. I'm going to do a two tone color combination. The lower part of the wall is going to be darker, top of the top section of the wall is going to be lighter. And then I'll probably come in with some rattle can and spray the, the metal track that separates the two. Um, just for to break it up, create some, some sort of clean, neat look in here. And, you know, this week, 
I will work on getting this stuff done, getting that cabinet down, um, getting the American um, pacemaker lathe all wired, um, at least the motor all taped up. It's all wired, but I got to get all the connections all taped up. And then get back to work on um, scraping all this shit off of here, the loose paint and everything, and painting it. Uh, yesterday, I came in here later in the days, and I was cleaning up the flash rust on the, the ways. So that cleaned up nice. Everything's good there. That's simply because this machine's been sitting here in the humidity through the winter and the summer and stuff, and that, that happens. You need to keep this stuff oiled up good. So, <clears throat> and then, like, this is rusty because I tripped it already. This is actually almost ready for paint. Um, you know, I got a little bit of material left here, and then obviously in there to clean up, and then I, I can paint that, get this wrench painted up too. And this is just about ready to paint as well. So, yeah, you know, I got a lot of work to do still on this American Pacemaker. My budget is, is super tight right now because I don't know where I'm at with the concrete. Um, but once I get the concrete quote and I can get that dealt with, then I'll know better of where I'm at. Um, worse comes to worse, I got to go get a personal loan to finish this out the way I need to. So I'm not going to be doing the three-phase power in here right away. Um, until I get that quote and I know where we're at, I'm, I'm just not going to do that. And what my plan is, is I'm going to get this table up and running sooner rather than later. So I have currently in this shop, this is, and I know it doesn't have a cover on it. And yes, the circuit is turned off, but this was what was powering up the compressor. So what I'm going to do here is redo this conduit in this box and I'm going to come up into the ceiling and run across and then or come up over the here let me move <laughs> sorry if you're getting busy basically come up across here I may go up across the front of the top of the doors I'm not sure come across here and drop down so power may be for the compressor may drop down here um, i know i want to put an airline there um, specifically so i could put this reel in that location what that will allow me to do is number one get it off that compressor it never should have been mounted on there in the first place but it'll allow me to be able to have air right outside the door here for whatever i'm working on for the time being and that hose reel could be used on the table, could use, be used wherever. Um, my other airlines, I'm going to temporarily, well, not temporarily, I'm going to plumb for sure. Um, airline here with a drop, a drain, come up, come over here, another drop with a drain, and then we're going to run across the top here, and then I'll be putting another drop somewhere in this vicinity so that I have air for blowing off these machines and everything or for whatever it is that I'm working on. Um, make sure that I'll probably have a drop for each machine. And then, um, yeah, I think that's fine. I may, I may put another reel over here on this wall, but I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. We'll figure that out as, as nice, you know, as it's necessary. Um, because I'm going to be running an airline here, it won't be nothing for me to continue airline across here and drop another one over here in that corner. So we'll see. That's the overall plan. As far as this compressor is concerned, this may stay in here. It may not. Um, I've kicked around the idea of putting this in the new garage and putting a vertical machine in here or compressor in here to save some floor space. But I'm not so sure if it if it stays in this location is just shifted over to the wall. I'm not sure really how much floor space that's really going to save me, because you know this area is kind of like unused space. So and that's kind of what I'm running into over here. This table is going to move over about a foot, and then for the time being, I'm going to keep my bender over here in the corner, and probably this hydraulic press 
over here just stacked up and then I'm going to put one of these tool boxes, tool carts, just over here in front of that stuff and that'll be kind of my desk and where I keep all my consumables and everything for this table. Um, I got my stool over here. So that'll allow me to have some storage space and then a workspace for the table. And it'll free up some more room on this half of the garage or shop until my other building's built. So um, the blast cabinet's going to move out of there. I'm not sure where it's going to go. I'm not sure where my grinder pedestals are going to go. I know that the blast cabinet will be going in the new garage, but I'm not sure like where it's going to go in here for the time being. Um, this bench, I had said, is going to go in the new garage. But, you know, the more I'm looking at it over here, the more I'm thinking it may stay in here. We'll see. Um, I kind of had this idea kicking around in my head where I can get a fixture table over here. Um, what I mean by fixture table is basically a welding table with a bunch of holes drilled into it so that you can clamp stuff up and do some welding on it. Um, if I do decide to go that route, that would be kind of a helpful thing, but... I just kind of got, I have to get working in here and determine what I really need in here and what I don't need. So my goal is to just get everything that I have as organized as possible and just kind of work in the space until I get the other building up and get power in the other building. And then I can kind of go from there and decide what's what um, and what needs to go where based off of being comfortable to work in. So anyways, that's the update for, for right now. I'll shoot another video tonight before I head out of the shop, letting you guys know um, what I got done today as far as, you know, building, you know, the walls and, you know, getting shit cleaned up off of here. And I'll upload that whenever it's ready, either tomorrow morning or late tonight. So thanks for guys. Thank you guys for watching. And like always, subscribe, comment, like, and I will talk to you guys later.